Hi there. So now we're going to be doing a mock-up on what happens on a day of egg collection in the laboratory. So from an embryologist's perspective, the patient has to be witness. Uh, you need to make sure that there's the right patient in the lab because all the witnessing that happens in the laboratory is going to be dependent on that entry point whereby the patient has been positively or actively witnessed by two members of the team. So you would have the embryologist and you would also have the clinician, you would have the anaesthetist. All of you are supposed to witness the patient saying her full name and date of birth. After the witnessing is done, the patient would be put, uh, put asleep by uh, gentle sedation or even deep sedation sometimes, depending on the preference of the patient. Once the patient is asleep, the clinician would pass a needle through the vaginal wall and with the aid of the ultrasound, each follicle is going to be aspirated off the follicular fluid. The way this is done, this is by, done by vacuum suction and with a gentle suction of about 100 millimeters of mercury, each of the follicle is aspirated and the contents of each follicle would be collected in these 15 mil tubes. So the nurse is there in theater holding such a tube which has got the rubber bund connected to the needle which is inside the ovary and by vacuum each follicle is being aspirated and these tubes are then filled with follicular fluid. So as soon as these tubes come in, they are put in these 37 degree uh, warmer here and what I would do next is we would have several of these round 60 millimeter dishes which have been tissue tested or tissue culture tested rather and we would empty the tube into one of these dishes in such a manner and create a thin layer of follicular fluid using multiple dishes if need be. The embryologist would then scan the follicular fluid under the microscope and make sure that they're trying to identify the health of the granulosa cells and potentially the cumulus cells that may contain the egg. So we all know that the egg is surrounded by uh, the cumulus and um, what we're trying to look for in the follicular fluid is the presence of the egg. The egg will be surrounded by a lot of cumulus cells so what needs to be looked for is this cumulus mass and in the center of that cumulus mass you should find an egg there. But if you do not find the egg, it is quite important that the embryologist grades the health of the granulosa cells that are coming out. Because a lot of the times if the egg is not there, you need to be able to be communicating that information with your clinician who is literally over the door here. So typically on the day of egg collection, the embryologist would be communicating by telling them, found the egg. So that, the uh, so that the clinician can move to the next follicle and if there is no egg there we would be saying good cells found so that the uh, clinician knows that they can flush that follicle again to try and see if they can derive the egg in the second aspirate of the same follicle. And once the egg is found the embryologist would isolate that egg and then put them in the smaller tubes that contain the culture media. And these eggs again are held at 37 degrees. So once all the follicles have been aspirated, all the follicular fluid has been checked under the microscope and potentially all the eggs have been collected into these small tubes, the embryologist would then finish the egg collection and then move the tubes into, uh, into culture and typically the eggs are held in four well dishes such as these. So these four well dishes contain culture media. Of course they would be fully labeled with the patient's name, registration number and date of birth. So we are holding these eggs currently in these tubes after which they have to be retrieved with a pipette. They have to be washed very thoroughly in culture media to remove any kind of debris, blood, blood cells, etc. So all of the eggs have to be isolated from the tubes. They have to be very thoroughly washed and then be put into these four well dishes um, after they have been very thoroughly cleaned. After the eggs have been collected, the dish would be taken out of this chamber and they would be put 
into the incubator where it rests till insemination. So that is a short video of how and what happens in an egg collection in a laboratory. Thank you so much.